Let's talk about buyer approval. It's important that when a buyer comes forward to purchase your home that he's properly approved. The reason being is when your home is taken off the market and goes under contract and you have to put it back on the market, that actually can cost you equity and you can lose momentum. So you don't want to take a home off the market just to see if you can make it work. Now, there's something called a pre-qualification. That's not what you want. That's where the lender will call up the buyer, talk to him, ask him a couple questions, pull the credit, and that's it. You want to have a buyer that's properly pre-approved. That means that the lender's pulled the credit, He's taken a full application. Some lenders don't like to do that because when they take a full application, that triggers the necessity to disclose certain things to the buyer and send them certain documents. And some lenders don't like to do that. We insist that they take a full application. We want to see assets and income physically verified and the file run through automated underwriting. That's an online underwriting system. They put the information in there, it takes a minute or two, it'll come back out, and we're getting approved eligible. That means that's a very good chance the buyer will be approved. Now, if you're into a contract on a property, there's indicators that there may be an issue. For example, if the lender's holding off on ordering appraisal, that means there's something going on with the loan. You see the buyer will incur an expense three, four, five hundred dollars for an appraisal and the loan's not approved, you got the appraisal expense hanging out there and the lender certainly doesn't want to eat that expense. So if you're well into the loan process and they still have an ordered appraisal, there's something going on with a loan and somebody needs to talk to that lender and find out what's happening.